Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one by myself. Welcome back to Layton in the box. Oh, the bastard box. Last time we looked through a door. Cool little door with some uh, concept art and then a bonus sliding block puzzle. Hmm. And now I feel like I want to keep going with this game. This game. It's been here for too long, considering its length. I feel like we should have already been done with this. Now, last time in the story, what were we doing? It says talk to the train's crew. So, I guess, I guess, yeah, we'll just do that. We got Hank. Hanko right here. Finally, it's time to get down to business. It's been forever since I got to do some real work. What do you mean? Didn't you just finish repairing the train? Sorta, of, but before I can kick back I gotta do- Oops. I mean, nothing. Things are good. Oh yeah. Hmm. Why are you being sneaky, Hang? Hmm. Who the hell is this? Conrad? Alright, let's see here. <clears throat> Good day, sir. The name's Conrad. I'm a student from the village of Dropstone. I'm headed to Luxembourg, so for a while at least it seems we'll be travelling together. Say, have you heard about that long tunnel on the way to Luxembourg? When the train passes through it, every light on board goes dark. Stranger still, once the train nears the tunnel, all access to the deluxe car is cut off. Just imagine the kind of monkey business some passengers get up to under the cover of dark. <laughs> Ew. Something very strange must be going on if they're cutting off all access to the deluxe suites. Of course, it all makes perfect sense. Why didn't I see it before? Luke, I think I figured things out. Quick, you two, to the deluxe suites. Right behind you. All right. Flora. I almost forgot about that part. It's, it's Flora. Alright, I guess we're going to the Deluxe, finally. Here we are, the Deluxe car. Something's written on that sign on the door. Actually, it appears to be a puzzle of some sort. I have a hunch that if we can solve the puzzle, we can gain access to the car. Okay, here we go. The door's code. In order to pass through this door, Luke and Layden must arrange the symbols according to the following rules. The star must be next to the moon. The X must be second from the top. The circle must be somewhere above the diamond. The moon must be located two places below the diamond. Okay. So X has to be second from the top. Gotcha. The star must be next to the moon. X must be second from the top. The circle must be somewhere above the diamond. Star must be next to the moon. X must be second from the top. Circle must be somewhere above the diamond. Moon must be located two places below the diamond. One, two. Yeah, I mean, that looks right to me. And now to test my theory. Boom. Nice. And there we have it. Nice, nice. There we are. The door's open now. Oh, hamster toy. Holy smoke! Look at this place! It's out of control! 
Yes, it's far more luxurious than the standard cars. Tickets to stay here must cost a pretty penny. Hmm. Right, Biggie. What does this do? Answer is an interest in these blocks, but they are useful for blocking his path and line of sight. Wow. Oh. Well, I don't. I don't think that's gonna help me here at all. Yeah, I think I think that's still as much as we as we got. Okay. And now we have coins. Oh boy. Only a few though. Alright, there we are. Oh, Professor! This room is just breathtaking! And one and a half times as big as our room to boot! Plus, just look at how super cushy this sofa is! Whee! Come now, don't jump on the sofa. Luke, do you remember the discussion we had about how gentlemen act when... Why, wow, you're right! It's so cushy! Whee! You damn children. How's everybody feeling? Sorry to bust in on the party, but I'm just here to snazz up the rooms. Uh, let's see, should I go here? Negative Sammy, that's no good. Uh, hey, you there, smart looking dude. I'm eating you, man. Me, good sir? Uncle Beluga, uh, I mean the boss man, told me to pretty up the place with some flowers. Can you figure out where I should put these things to make the room smell nice? Of course. Shouldn't be too much trouble to find a spot for flowers as lovely as these. Alright, straight to another one. Smell the roses. Tap a square to place a rose. The fragrance of each rose reaches two spaces in all directions but can't penetrate walls. If the fragrance of two or more roses overlap, the resulting smell will be overwhelming. So make sure to keep your roses spaced out. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you for actually showing me. There you go. Consider All right. this puzzle solved. That was very easy since it just it actually showed me there we have it. everything. All right. There. How's that? Oh, real nice. It's not crazy, but it makes a statement. I'm sure it'll jive with the bus man. Well, anyhow, kick back, relax, and enjoy the rest of your ride on the Military Express. Now the whole room smells nice! Yes, quite nice, I'd say. But back to the task at hand. We've given this place a once-over and come up empty-handed. The gentleman can't very well go barging into other people's rooms, so let's go to our room for now. Oh, Professor, do we have to? Feels like it's gone so late, can't we just stay here for now? So, a whole lot of nothing so far. Great. 
But there's also coins here. Alright, and that's all the coins for this whole chapter. Let's go back. Oh. It's the strangest thing. All of a sudden, I'm so tired. What's the matter, Flora? <sighs> Gosh, all of a sudden, I'm kind of sleepy too. All right, you two, this is no time for jokes. Oh dear, I'm suddenly quite tired myself. We got knockout gassed? What happened? Damn! Oh. The tunnel. Huh? What's going on out there? Am I dreaming? Hmm? In the tunnel. How did this go straight to a puzzle? Two trains pass in the darkness. Move them around so that each locomotive ends up on the opposing track while still maintaining the same order of his cars. There's one trick though, the number two cars must remain in their original tracks. O okay, alright. There we go, there we go, there we go. Here goes. That was almost too easy. All right. I must have fallen asleep on the couch. How careless of me. Do you know what happened in that tunnel, Luke? I'm sorry, Professor, but I slept through the whole thing, too. And I had the strangest dream. In my dream, part of the Monterey Express switched tracks were in the tunnel. You mean to say that one of the train's cars is now riding different rails? Luke, what you saw may not have been a dream at all. If one car did split off from the train, it would no longer be bound for Luxembourg. Maybe that cause how you get to the Phantom Town. I'm beginning to suspect you're right on the money, Luke. I hope the Phantom Town isn't as creepy as it sounds. Well, light bulb. Everybody get ready to rock! Oh, nice. Stop this, Come on, 
passengers, let me hear you scream! Frozen say. Of course, how could I have missed this? Do you recall how this ticket was missing a destination? Well, it seems that the destination was staring us in the face all along. Really? But where, Professor? Oh. In front of you sits a ticket that Leighton and Luke found with Dr. Schrader. The ticket appears to have no destination, but when you look at it just the right way, the ticket discloses its destination, the town of Full Sense. The key to spotting the destination is the number that has been cut out of the ticket. What number used to be there? Use the ticket in the instruction booklet? Um... Woody... Woody... Huh? Use the ticket in the instruction booklet? Fuck are you talking about? Alright, hang on. Um... Let me... Let me see what I can... I can do with that. Alright, so here I am... With a, uh... A PDF of the instruction manual, and lo and behold, there's the damn ticket. Um, and it says here, Can you solve the puzzle and decipher the ticket's destination? The answer is easiest to find if you manipulate the ticket in some way. So, okay. I think you gotta, like, fold it or somehow? Well, obviously, I don't have the thing in front of me, so I have no idea how I'm going to figure this out. But I'm looking for a number, right? If I just need one number, and that will somehow spell out full sense. Maybe, like, put it in half? Yeah, I think it's... I think you put it in half. I, I definitely see it. Somehow, this 5 and a 1 make an F, and then O. Somehow an L. Hmm. Well, no, because full sense is not long enough. No, this is this says full sense right here, I think. But if that's the case, what are these first three? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the game. Alright. So I've figured out this says four full sense. So, somehow you fold the ticket, somehow you fold the ticket, and it becomes that. So, somehow this needs to make an E. I think it may be two. Should do the trick. There you go. Man, and now they got physical it. puzzles. It's only the second game, damn. Yeah, you gotta fold it like that. Nice. I get it. Well, I suppose it means we've almost reached our destination. Yes. This is strange. When did it get so dark? What do you mean? I do believe we've arrived at the next stop. 
I don't see Flora, Professor. Where could she be? Oh, you two. Glad to see you're finally awake. Flora, where did you run off to? I'm sorry, but the train car was so stuffy when we stopped, I went outside for some air. You went out alone? You crazy? It's dangerous out there. Who knows what kind of creeps could be out looking around? No, well, I'll be more careful from now on. Watch your tone, Luke. A gentleman always remembers to treat a lady with kindness and respect. Now, since we're all back together, why don't we get off this train and see where we are? Oh, that's the ticket solved. Nice. The, the no music is kind of... Mm -hmm. We did get a light bulb for Mr. Biggie. So let's see what that does. When the hamster makes contact with the light bulb, it flashes, causing your hands or friend to dash in the direction he's facing until he runs into something. Okay, yeah, this can, you know. Well then, like, like this? Wait, he can just run into the wall. Alright, let's try that. Oh, come on. I'm There we go. All right. Seventeen. Nice. I'm starting to look pretty good, huh? All right, Biggie. You're getting there. You're not a slug no more. Now you're just a sloth. Pretty soon, man will be in shape. All right, let's get out of here so we actually got some music. Oh. Got like a... Hmm. Church? This place gives me goosebumps. Voiced. Ooh. Yes, I'm second that. I'm sticking close to you two. I mean, you kind of do more detective in than archaeology. Well, we best press on. Hmm? <gasps> what on earth? <gasps> 
Alexa, what was that? Hmm. Let's go. Oh. Oh my. Just what is going on here? Well, I don't know, but it's strange. Four Sense Station. The rundown train station transforms into a gleaming, ornately decorated building right before their eyes. What the hell is going on? Following rumors of the Elysian box, the Professor, Luke, and Flora set foot in a strange town. But cautious as they were, nothing could have prepared them for the events to follow. What the, what the hell is about to happen? Are we getting into sci-fi stuff? The Phantom Town of Four Sense, Chapter 4. Now I think we're in the game proper. Four chapters in. So this is the Phantom Town we heard about, huh? Like something from a horror novel. I find the place unsettling too, but we mustn't let that keep us from our investigation. Who knows what kind of valuable information we might find here about the Elysian Box. Alright. Got weird ass town. But you know what new place means? Coins. And these aren't missable, so I'm pretty sure we're staying here for the rest of the game. like this music. Professor, the train still stopped in the station, but there's not a soul in sight. Then it seems we have no choice but to remain in town. All the more reason to proceed with our investigation. I guess so. Weird. Very weird and strange. Hello, ma'am. Funny when in the new here. Hello, handy high and all that. Hey, you're... Mailman, yep. I've got mail to deliver here, but it's so dark it always takes forever. One of the people always seem so on edge here. There's all the more reason I need to bring a little sunshine into everyone's life with the mail. Wow, you deliver letters all the way out here? I sure do, and I've got a schedule to keep on in it. So on that note, I'll be off. See you around. It would seem our friend the postman works a very, very wide area for mail delivery. Really? But how does he do two routes every single day? Unless he has some kind of jetpack, that's just impossible. You may think so, Luke, but our world is full of inexplicable phenomena. This is but one of many. I guess so, but it still seems pretty much impossible to me. I mean... This on this is on the Nintendo DS, and Nintendo is not a stranger to a uh, magic postman. All right, let's go one more room in. Oif. Are you all right there, Flora? You don't look well. I'm not sure. I just started feeling sick all of a sudden. You're as pale as a sheet. We'll find a place for you to rest right away. I don't see any hotels around. If there were, you'd think there'd be a sign or something. Despite the lack of advertising, I'd say one of those buildings over there is a hotel. Alright, alright.
All right. So now we're in, I would say we're in the game proper. We're in whatever town we needed to be at. And some freaky deaky shit is happening. I assume this is way more than just robots this time. Something weird is happening. But with that, I'll end it there. I've been Player One, and we'll see you next time when we continue exploring the weird place of full sense. Alright. Bye bye.